A woman called the police to report that her ex-boyfriend had threatened to kill her. Three weeks later, she was shot to death. The United States Supreme Court in Giles v. California considered whether her statements to the police could be admitted under an exception to the Sixth Amendment's Confrontation Clause. Dwayne Giles was speaking with his ex-girlfriend, Brenda Avi, outside his grandmother's house. His niece heard Brenda call, quote, Granny, unquote, and then gunshots. The niece and grandmother ran out and saw Giles standing near Brenda's dead body with a gun in his hand. Brenda had been shot three times, including once while lying on the ground. At trial, Giles testified that Brenda had threatened to kill him and his new girlfriend. He claimed that she charged him and he fired in self-defense with his eyes closed, not intending to kill her. The prosecution sought to introduce statements that Brenda had made to the police three weeks before the shooting. She'd reported a domestic violence incident during which Giles physically assaulted her and threatened her with a knife. The court admitted the statements under a California law that allowed admission of out-of-court statements describing the threat of physical injury on a person who is unavailable to testify at trial. A jury convicted Giles of first-degree murder. He appealed. The California Supreme Court upheld Giles' conviction on the grounds that Giles forfeited his right to confront Brenda by murdering her, thus making her unavailable to testify. The U.S. Supreme Court granted certiorari.